Today on Viral Theory Media. Yo, 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 yo. What's going on? Gather around. Gather around, everybody. Come on in. Come on. Y'all come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Okay, so I know you all have seen all of the uh, the uproar that has come from the community in the in in, in this in the city here uh, at Umi, right? Alright, so we are presently sitting down with the owner of Umi who uh, had who had the incident here. This is uh Fashid. Hello everybody. Okay, and this is his brother Fashad. And uh, I also have my, my other constituents in the movement here. I have Queen and Queen. Hey. And we are sitting down right now with, with these brothers. And they, they first of all, have uh, apologized. And they've made it known that they understand the failure in how they responded to the matter the other day. And they are interested in finding ways to become more diverse uh, they, uh, they understand that this culture of ours runs this town, okay? This culture of ours runs this town, and they understand that. They don't want to alienate or ostracize our culture. So we have to find ways to uh, uh, show them how we can work together towards a resolution. Um, but I think what should be taken into consideration and what should be noticed is that he reached out to me. You know what I mean? He reached out to me. He wanted to sit down with me. I told him I'd pull up to the museum. And he pulled up right now uh, in an effort to find ways to collaborate, to reach a resolution. He didn't just stand up and say, well, I'm going to do it the way I want to do it. And then, you know, if you don't like it, go somewhere else. That's not his attitude. That ain't his demeanor. Uh, so what I, what I gave him my word in is that we will all collectively uh, work to find ways to diversify his, his, his policies diversify uh, his staff and you know even diversify how he deals with matters that uh, you know that affect us and the community at large you know what I mean um, I think that this is a teachable moment because we don't all know each other we don't all understand each other we all are, are, are you know have our own cultures and our own ways of doing things uh, but it's a mutual respect we got to start from a mutual respect we got to respect one another you dig what I'm saying? If, if, if I respect your restaurant and I respect where you're coming from, I can only do that if I know that you are respecting me. You are respecting my culture. You are respecting my hard-earned money when I come in here. And if not, then we're going to have a standoff. But that ain't what we want. We want to work together in unison as a community. So uh, we sit right here, man. And we putting it together. We we both feel that you know if you can't wear sneakers, you can't wear sneakers at all. Right. It ain't no these sneakers are cool and those sneakers are not. That ain't gonna work. So the sneaker thing is gonna have to we gonna have to wipe that. And 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 he you are you you have agreed, did you not? Absolutely. We said that's the first step we're gonna take, and we're gonna take the sneaker policy away because I think again as a sneakerhead, it'd be slightly hypocritical if I. If I had that rule mm -hmm. and, and didn't abide by it, would be exponentially hypocritical. Uh, but the thing is, uh, what else? What else is there? Like for the experience that the people had who were dining in your restaurant, what can we do for them? I, I reached out to the Colberts several mm -hmm. times since Friday, mm -hmm. and I said through my connections and through. Uh, how I've been in the community for so long, mm -hmm. I can resolve the matter with the community. I can come to you, and I can come to you, and I can ask for resolution. Mm -hmm. And we can we can do a wrong right. Right. And I'm gonna ask you guys for guidance, right? Right. But with them, it's it's them. It's their heart. So some way I have to win their heart, mm -hmm. and I and that's what I repeatedly yeah. told the Colberts. I asked them to come in. To allow us to to show them the love that we have in this restaurant, right? And they I, might not be interested. I know, in I know, and, and I would sit with them, and I would, you know, make sure it's not just one of these like, please come in, we buy dinner for you. Right. It was more about, please come in, I'll sit with you, and and you know, sometimes through a 
first fight, you become long time friends. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so 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 as I said, and I and I know you spoke for me, and I appreciate it, but we were hundred percent wrong at at our operational and the way we handled the situation. Mm -hmm. And I'm man enough to say it because I'm the one that did it. Right. I won't. I won't stand behind a publicist. I don't stand behind other people speaking for me. Right. And that's why I wanted to come and see you guys and say that face to face. Right on. Well, we appreciate that. Well, uh, that is the difference in Atlanta and anywhere else. That's the difference in anywhere in Atlanta, man. It don't. It, it don't take. It. It, it really does not. Oh, they said. Oh, and he said he doesn't get enough. He said the reason why. He said the reason why he don't have uh, more diversity on his staff is because he don't get enough black applicants. So anybody in a ma who's looking for, you know, management positions and uh, also chefs, you know, hosting, host chefs, uh, you know what I'm saying? Hey, listen, everybody who's saying it's all cap, we got to give an opportunity. We got this is a part of the process. You don't just goddamn go from zero to 100. You got to get... You got to get through the process. That's what maturity and, you know, yeah. becoming a, a, a clear thinking adult is about. Yeah. Conflict what resolutions. How to solve problems. All right? Now, if you get to a point where it ain't no more conversation with it, we know how to handle that too. But to justify us to get to that point, we got to go through the process. You dig what I'm saying? We got to go through the process. So we, uh, as a man, uh, we're going we're gonna to take uh, uh, Farshad. And Farshid and Farshad as men of their words, mm -hmm. you dig what I'm saying? And we're going to, and we, yeah, we're going, we're, going, we're going to introduce them to diversity training and other other things that we could do that to, to so their business could understand and appeal more so to the culture of the community. Yeah. Uh, and you know, I will let y'all know how it go. You dig what I'm saying? I will let y'all know how it go because we all got to like each other. We don't all got to agree with each other, but we must respect each other. Respect each other. All right? Period. All right, man. So that's all I got to say for y'all, man. I'll holler back, back at y'all, man. Give you an update later.